times. Well, I mean, how did you feel when ex players used to bash you? Oh, it didn't really bother me, mate. No. I feel like when, when you're on the pitch and if you're not performing, you've got to take you know the criticism that comes. And I remember like even talk sport, mate, when we was playing. All sorts no, after one games. Man, Asian Durham. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Colin Moore as well was another one who used to um, go in hard. But it's part. It's part. It's part of you know being a footballer, being mm. a, a, a sportsman. I mean, some of them other countries, mate. Spain, France. Yeah, they Rufus. go hard. Yeah, Emmanuel Petit, mate. <laughs> like he goes in. Yeah. he goes in on players. But I think you just got to accept it, and then um, you know. We, as, as, as much as we will criticise players, mm. we will like applaud players of that course. are being, being outstanding, good performances. I think with Charleston performances haven't been great. Anthony, I mean, everyone's jumped on the bandwagon with Anthony. Mm. I was saying this six months ago. Yeah. And now everyone's saying it. You know, he yeah. comes on and he does nothing. Yeah. Well, I said, it, I called him a YouTube footballer and it was, it was everywhere. And I, I, I thought I was talking sense because when you, you look at some of the flicks and the tricks, mm. there was the, never no end product. It was always like if you chopped up his, his best bit to put it together, It'd look unbelievable on YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. It'd yeah. look unbelievable. But when it comes to context of the game, he wasn't doing much. 100%. I remember he hadn't scored a Premier League goal and he'd done that round flick. That flick. Was it called and Spidget, there was no one Spidget buying him. Yeah, there was no one buying him. And I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't mind if you're a Neymar mm. and you're, 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 you're running past three, four players, taking players on, getting the other side of players, one, two scoring goals. Mm. Do what you like. Yeah. I think Richardson done one, didn't he? Was it against um, Forrest and um, um, Johnson? Yeah, he did, he did that. Sc- yeah, kick I, 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 I'm not sure about that when you're not banging in the goals and you're not performing. Yeah. Oh, Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola has been speaking ahead of his size match at home to Aston Villa tonight at 8.15pm, live and exclusive on TalkSport. He was asked about Roy Keane's comments comparing Erling Haaland <laughs> to a League Two player and had a bit of a pop at ex-pros. I'm surprised this come from former players. For the journalism, I can understand, but never been on the pitch. But the former players always are surprised. It's like the referees when retire criticize the referees when they were there. How difficult is that business for the players? Always surprised me. The memory <laughs> disappear quick. The problems the players they have, they had. The lack of misactions, they miss it a thousand million times. And they were hurt when they were criticized for the former players. But today is what it is. So I have to accept it and move forward so that's why I I don't know what's going to happen in the future but uh, I'm not the guy going to criticize my colleagues when I retire I'm going there it should be this it should be that it should be that because I could do it now and I don't do it it's easy to sit in do you know what I will say and that was Pep Guardiola the Manchester City boss um, I think you can criticize current players right if it's constructive yes like I, I don't think we've ever sat here and I, I'll include you in this I don't think uh, I've heard you attack someone's personality or their nah. or their personal life, whatever that may be, do you know what I mean? But if, if you're critiquing a player, a current player now, about their performances, and especially if they play centre forward like we did, mm-hmm. and you see certain aspects, maybe his movement or his finishing or whatever it is, I think you should have the right to be able to do that. But I think when you cross the line and you start making it personal, that's where I'm a little of bit course. like, that's a little bit naughty. But, but I think you yeah. should be able to critique, because football fans who haven't played the game, can critique yes, us. of course. So I, I think that's why we love football, because we've all got our own opinions. Yeah. And I think a lot of people look at it and say, like, okay, hang on a pep, hang on a second pep. Like, these players are earning, not that I care what players are earning, never do, oh, 300 grand a week, and they can't take a bit of criticism. And like you says, if you're backing up his stats, Richardson, blah, 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 you get scored this amount of goals in this. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Anthony, oh, gets hammered for what he's doing, back it up with stats. Mm. It's if you're trying to, like, just say anything wild and you're not mm. backing up your stats. If you back it up, then everyone's going to be like, yeah, he probably deserves that. If you look back at the game, he gets the ball, Anthony, and he passes it back. Mm. He can take the player on the outside, he passes it back. Yeah. And you're seeing it every game and you yeah. start thinking to yourself like, okay, there's a reason why Ten Hag's stopped starting him. Yeah. And he's starting playing Garnacho on the right. Yeah, I'm and and maybe Diallo deserves a chance of um, playing in front of him. So if you're being constructive criticism, then I don't see any problem with it. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the firing lines. 03717 Let's go and speak to Darren. He's a Spurs fan. Darren, how you doing? Good evening, Darren. Oh, hi, guys. I'm good. I'm good, thank you. So what's your thoughts and then on, on pundits criticising current players? I, I actually agree with what you said when it's constructive. And I think the problem is Pep's just defending his player. Mm. But what Roy Keane said wasn't wrong. 
because if you're going comparing him to Harry Kane, Harry Kane's an all-round striker. Yep. And and Haaland is a goal scorer. I agree. Do you know what, Darren? And that's, that's a great point. I agree with that. I mean, listen, League Two is probably a little bit harsh, but when you look about all round centre forward, I think Harry Kane's better. I think he can hold the ball up better. He's a better passer. He's got a better touch. And yes, Haaland scores a lot of goals. But listen, Harry Kane's no slouch, by the way. He no. still scores. He's, he's, his goals per game ratio is, mm-hmm. is incredible. So maybe Roy Keane maybe went a bit harsh in terms of a League Two player, but there was some kind of. There was some kind of things I agreed with with what he said in terms of Haaland's all-round game. Because it's not, it's not as good as even Aguero, who came before mm, him. Yeah. I, t- I totally agree. Like, is he a League 2 player at his build-up play and control? No, he's not. Is he top Premier League at his build-up play, control, getting people involved? No, he's not. Yeah, You know, he's, he's got weaknesses. He's not all-round top, is he? And when people talk about finishing as well... He's not the best finisher in the world. Harry Kane is for me. Yeah, I feel like the way Harry Kane finishes, even Mbappe is a top, top finisher. Yeah, Look at some of the goals Mbappe scores. What Haaland's good at is he knows to make what runs to make. Mm. He knows to get into the six-yard box and he's going to score them goals. But if you've done a finishing session with Harry Kane and Erling Haaland, Harry Kane would score more goals. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Harry Kane's first touch is going to be better. Harry Kane's link-up play is going to be better. Mm. But... Pep knew what he was signing. If he's, he doesn't probably care about that. Let me ask you a quick question. I know we've got to go to a break, but let me ask you a quick question. Because often you hear some supporters, not all, but some supporters would say, say, me and you can't comment on Manchester United because we've not played at that level. Yeah. Or where do you stand on that? I, I, where I stand on that is then, okay, then we would only have a certain few people that can talk about games then. Yeah. The YouTubers will never be able to do anything. Yeah. They'll be out of business. You'd have... Newspapers wouldn't be able to have anyone talking about it. You'd have to go and find players that played at Manchester United, Chelsea's and Liverpool's, only ones that can talk about it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. anyone can talk about anyone. Like, I don't even believe that, like, some people say, oh, you haven't played the game, you can't talk about that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's got top managers that didn't play the game. Of course, Mourinho. Exactly. Prime example. Was it, wasn't one of the... Uh, do you know what I mean? So, mm. for me, anyone should be able to comment on anyone because yeah. there's YouTubers that speak a lot of sense as well. Yeah. You know, like we we we're not big fans of Flex, but um, <laughs> <laughs> he's a good guy yeah. and he speaks sense. Yeah. He knows his football. Yeah, no, his he research. didn't play at a high level. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He can't, probably can't do two kickups, Flex, but, <laughs> but he's, he's a top guy. Knows his football. Yeah. and speaks sense. So I don't believe that if you haven't played at the top top, you can't talk about Manchester United. Do you know what I mean? If Anthony's doing rolling flicks I'm going to call him out simple as that All right, Shake's called 03717 let's go and speak to him Shake how you doing yeah not too bad guys. good evening it's Shake good. Shake you all good yeah not bad how are you yeah we're good we're good man so what do you think about obviously media media and current players getting criticised by pundits um, so I think what you mentioned earlier was, was a fair point you know you need the, the limit is where it's criticism it's fine by uh, previous players and pundits. But I think the point I wanted to make is what did Roy say that was fair criticism? I don't think he criticised. He was being just unduly harsh and making a a comment that he knew would just be a bit um, annoying for anyone to hear, right? Let's all be real. Haaland's not a second second player. No, of course he's not. So so, so obviously to say something like that, he's just, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to stress the point that you weren't happy with the way you played. There was no criticism there or, or, or like you were saying, uh, constructive criticism. Yeah. Nothing was constructive there. So I agree with Pep. Pep is right with what he's saying because I think he would agree with what you're saying. If it's constructive, why, why would anyone care? It's constructive. Mm. But I don't think pundits ever give constructive. And that, no disrespect, that goes to both of you as well. When you do say it, in your mind, you might think it's constructive, mm. but in reality, the way, the, the way, the tone that you're using, the words that you use, let's be real, Roy Keane, the Shake. words he's used here. Shake, I think, I think when, when I'm watching it, I think when Micah come in, Micah Richards, he come in and he had constructive cr- criticism. He was like, you know, the ball's coming towards him. He's not holding it up. A big striker, he's got to do better holding the ball up when you need him. So that sort of like... Um, points that Micah made was very good but Roy Keane I agree the Lee 2 shout was a bit disrespectful to be honest yeah yeah and and in the world where we're more conscious of mental health and things like that I think Pep has a point 
Pep has a huge point here. Yeah. If it's constructive, I don't think anyone would battle an eyelid. Do you know what, Shake? Though know, I think I think a lot of people, like pundits, criticism is constructive. Like if someone's had a poor game and they say he's had a poor game, I don't think that's not being constructive. That's obviously factual because they play poorly. If they miss a chance and you say he should have scored, that's constructive. Yeah, well, not necessarily. That's just stating the facts. Why right? he should have scored? And because we're talking about he's he's not criticizing. Um, he's not constructively criticizing Haaland, is he? he just. He's just criticising him. He's saying you're not, you're so bad today that you are second league player level. That's there's no constructiveness there. Okay, Shay, quick, Shay, just, just like listen, Shay, just quick, just quickly. How how would you assess Haaland's performance? And how would what what do you think? You've seen you're a Chelsea fan, right? Yeah. yeah. So t so talk to me about say Didier Drogba. You critique him. You see his hold up play. His general play was decent. How would you critique Haaland? Haaland overall is, is a great striker. What we're remembering is we're just remembering one game. 110% sure. I'm a huge DJ Drogba fan. He's had a poor game like that as well. I'm pretty sure of it. All of, and that's what Pep's trying to say. Everyone has had that poor game. Yeah. Every player, whether you've been Ronaldo level or, or you've been, uh, you know, Robbie Savage level, you've had that. You've had that. <laughs> hey, 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 Shake, that's not that, that, hey, that's not constructive <laughs> criticism, is it? <laughs> poor Robbie. I'm just naming. <laughs> Listen, Shake, really good call there. Let's speak to Kelly, a Man United fan. How are you doing, Kelly? Good evening, Kelly. Hey, I'm good, thank you. Oh, the line's not the, not the best. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. So what are your thoughts on Roy Keane's comments? Right, so I think that people that have got silverware behind them have the right to be constructive with criticism. But I don't see how the likes of Gabby Agbongolo, <laughs> Jason Funday, and David o Jamie O'Hara can sit there and slate players. Yeah, but Kelly, you've got to think these guys, all three of them that you mentioned, played at the highest level of the Premier League. Gabby represented his country. Right, yeah, but how much trophies did he win? Yeah, but it's not, look, listen, some of the greatest players out there didn't win trophies, but it's still and about... He, he played you at the know, he came up against Jürgen Klopp, and I think he had a cheek to sit there slating players and he does it often Who? and I don't think he thinks the players is mental health Gabby go on Gabby listen, I'm here fighting <laughs> I, call call up, I call up Benny keep going <laughs> <laughs> I, I come up against Jurgen Klopp what do you mean when you were slating players Klopp, what when, you, when you lost to Brentford on Sky Sports did you not see it yeah when you lost to Brentford was it 3-4 she's a Man United fan yeah yeah. after, no, the, after that game fans, I'm saying you're always slating because... What, what about Gary Neville? What about him? He's just had a run with Yanni. Has he? Yes. Never spoke to him. You've got too much to say for yourself. I've, ne I've, ne I've, never, I've never spoke to Gary. Well, it was. It, it, I just found him easy to play then. against, that's all. And he, and he must have got like he must have got upset. Yeah, because how can players like yourself play at players when you've never won trophies? Yeah, but still, just the three hundred and fifty Premier League Kelly, games. Kelly, let me ask you a question, right? Because I think that's harsh. Because have you ever critiqued a player? Have I what? Sorry. Have you ever slammed a player, or hammered a player? Um, not really. No, I don't see, don't see the point in it. Okay, well, you've just been hammering Gabby for the Ke last thirty Kelly, seconds. Kelly, Harry Kane's not won a trophy. Could, if he doesn't win a trophy after he finishes football, could he um, have a say on players? No. Yeah, but. You, the but, but, stuff but, 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 that you come out with, Gabby, you don't think about... Truth hurts. The truth hurts. That's Kelly, to be honest. That's Kelly. Yeah, it's a great call, I mean. Boy, she, didn't expect that, did hey, I? She woke up and shows violence. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. It's, it's violence. been a hard day at work for Kelly. <laughs> right, still to come, we'll be talking about some of the players that need a move to a top six club. But first, it's time for no Googling. But the last feature was thanks to three.